Welcome back, Hi Society. How are y'all doing today? Super excited to continue our family bank conversation. You know, we had just spoken about some tips on how to start your family bank. And now we are actually going to focus on the Rockefellers in this conversation. In a separate conversation, we will talk about the Vanderbilts. All right, so let's get started. And of course, I will drop the links in the description so that way you can follow along on your own. But let's talk about the Rockefellers because we did not mention them in our previous video. So the Rockefeller family is one of the most well-known families in U.S. history. You may have heard of institutions such as the Rockefeller Center, Rockefeller University, you know, or maybe the Rockefeller Foundation. So they have a very long sustained legacy. Uh, and then for folks at this level, you know, especially once they get towards the end of their life, you know, they have so much wealth, they're really more concerned about their last name, what type of impact they have left on this earth before they leave. And I think we all should be thinking like that, no matter if we don't have billions of dollars or not, right? What are we really doing for others? You know, we should be, uh, we should have the mindset of service. And so what is something that we have accomplished on earth that is gonna, uh, you know, do something for the better good, right, for humanity. And so I think that's just something we should all just start thinking about uh, outside of just working every day to make money, okay? So how did it all start? Well, the Rockefeller fortune began when John D. Rockefeller, again, it all starts with one person, so this one person can be you, uh, founded the Standard Oil Company in 1870. The company would then go on to control 90% of U.S. refineries and pipelines. According to the World Scholarship Forum, and of course you can click on these links, Rockefeller became the richest man in the world and one of the first to make billions, okay? The family fortune was valued at over $600 billion in today's dollars. And the Standard Oil Company would later evolve into ExxonMobil. So we all know ExxonMobil, okay? And Chevron Corporations that everyone knows today. The Rockefellers also developed one of the first major business trusts, keywords, business trust, which controlled Chase Manhattan Bank, now known as Chase Bank. We all know Chase Bank, okay? So a lot of uh, institutions that they started then are still here today. The Rockefellers went on to establish themselves as industrialists and philanthropists throughout the U.S. history. So, yes, they are definitely well known globally. So, of course, how is it going? You know, the Rockefellers family net worth is uh, currently valued at $8.4 billion, which is spread amongst over 70 heirs. Um, now, in the previous video, when we talked about their family bank, it stated that their family bank includes uh, between 150 to 200 people. So maybe uh, the 150, 200 people are maybe the children of some of these 70, okay? Very possible. That would be, that's an excellent question, right? To maybe ask somebody from the Rockefellers, why is there a disparity uh, in those numbers there? But Rockefeller himself is said to have gifted over $500 million in charities, okay? And again, he's a big philanthropist and they have funded projects ranging from the arts, the conversation, healthcare, international trade. You know, I just like how they're very diverse and they specialize in uh, many things, not just one area. So I like that. So if you are also that diverse person, I know I am. I love many things, right? You probably see me all on the internet like, oh my gosh, Nicole's in this, she's in that, she's in this. I just think it's fun. You know, I think it's very fun. Uh, that's definitely my personality. You know, even when I go out to eat, you know, I'm always getting um, the platter, you know, that you can kind of get three or more things, you know, <laughs> or I used to like to go on cruises a lot because it's kind of like the sampler. That's the word I'm looking for, the sampler, where you get to get a taste of different islands for like eight hours, you know, and then you're like, oh, you know, actually, I do like the Grand Cayman. I'm going to come back and fly here, you know, so uh, I like that, too. That just kind of fits my style. All right. Um, but actually, David Rockefeller, you know, lived to the age 101. And uh, he amassed over $3.3 billion. And then his son, David Jr., now chairs the family foundation. Okay. So let's get into the Rockefeller estate plan. This is what we came here today to discuss. 
the majority of the family fortune was held in two trusts. Notice that it's more than one. So yes, you can have more than one trust, okay? They had the 1934 family trust and then a 1952 trust managed by Chase Bank. Both of these trusts hold interest in the descendants of the Standard Oil Company plus other investments such as real estate. So I love this. Again, you can incorporate everything to put them into this trust. The fortune amassed was so large that the family founded Rockefeller Financial Services, which enlists professional money managers to oversee the holding company. So of course they had to do this when we're talking about billions of dollars. But just like we just stated in a previous video, you can do the same thing too, maybe on a lower scale if need be. Hey, I may have some billionaires in my audience, so you may not have to do that. That's totally awesome. Um, but if you are maybe a millionaire, not the billionaire, maybe your uh, family, um, you know, the uh, your foundation or holding company, I should say, uh, may be a little bit smaller, okay? And then, or if you're maybe a six figure, maybe your financial services company may be a little bit smaller, or maybe you have to outsource individuals to create that team like we spoke about in a previous video to be able to do some of the same functions that they have here. So whatever we have to do, let's go ahead and do that to make it work, okay? So we're talking about the Rockefeller Financial Services entity, okay? This entity has uh, five separate arms, each of them overseeing various wealth building, keyword there, wealth building activities such as investments, venture capital, family business, family liability insurance, and risk management. I love the key word wealth building activities, because just because he made all this amount of money and oil, right? Um, and then also, you know, uh, the banking industry, he just didn't stop there. He could have been like, you know, I'm good, you know, <laughs> but he didn't stop there. He was like, hey, look, I can venture off into other things. So what are some other wealth building activities that I can get into? Okay. So this is something that is ongoing for them. And this is what I really want us to start looking at when it comes to our lives. You know, what are those areas in our lives that are going to be ongoing? I think we have been taught since birth, really, uh, to just specialize in one thing and be good at that one thing only. It's like, who limited us like that? You know, I don't know about you, but uh, when I read the Bible and they talk about, you know, the talents, you know, the, the man with the 10 talents, the one, the five, the 10 talents, you know, the person who had the one, he went and hit it and they gave it to the guy who had the 10. You know what I'm saying? So if you have many talents, you need to use all of those talents. OK, you don't have to just do one thing good and that's it for your whole life. You know that what they have taught us is a way for us to be excellent employees. Right. Uh, at a company so we'll never leave so we can fit that function and do it well you know for people like the Rockefellers to be successful in what they do and I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that strategy if that works for you but I want us to think big just like the Rockefellers okay because this is very impressive here so uh, if you are great at many things figure out how to do them all well if you need to uh, get assistance in order to have help with that, like they needed assistance, right? They're very talented, very skilled. However, they still had to solicit assistance. Then you need to do that as well too, okay? So you can therefore create more wealth building activities for you and your family, for you and your heirs, okay? So again, going back into the first one was investments, and investments can cover so much, you know, the stock market, now crypto, do not shy away from crypto. The whole language before on crypto was, oh my gosh, it's so bad, it's so evil, it's money laundering, it's this, it's that. It never was those things. Of course, you're always going to have a bad element to anything, right? But it was never those things, but they just didn't want you in crypto at that time. Now that everything that they needed to put in place behind the scenes is in place, now their communication about crypto, their language towards crypto is more accepting, is more welcoming, it's more like, hey, yes, you need to get into it. This is something for you because why they're about to roll out the CBDCs that they need for you to sign up for. They need your buy-in to participate in that system, okay? So that's investments and venture capital. This is really good too. You know, maybe you want to invest in some companies, again, Right now, we are in the greatest wealth transfer of our lifetime. We're also in the Great Reset. 
And so maybe I should say the GR. I don't know if I could say that online, but I don't know why, because it's everywhere online. Okay. And it's, uh, they talk about it very openly. So I don't think that's a bad word, but uh, we are definitely in this particular GR. And, you know, either you're going to be on the winning end of things or you're going to be on the losing end of things. And you can sit back and say, I'm not going to do anything. Well, then you've already picked a side to lose. So you definitely want to make sure that you do your research, that you find out what this is all about, you know, what who the major players are, what companies are being created, okay, to be able to fulfill this new uh, prophecy, if you will, for the people who are doing this. Uh, for what's to come, because it's going to look completely different as day and night by the year 2030 from what you see today. So please don't be one of these people who are just like, oh, it's always been this way. It's always going to be this way. You know, we've had a 401k for a minute and it's always looked this way. We've always been able to buy a house and have home ownership. It's always going to be this way. We've always had access to clean water, right? It's always going to be this way. I need for you to start thinking ahead, be futuristic, see what's being created to see what is coming, okay? There's many laws that's coming down a pipeline. Really, they're already here. I mean, seriously, um, they're already here. And so we'll talk about that as we continue with our videos. Uh, again, family businesses, this is again, again, being your own bank, you can start to invest in family businesses. You know, maybe you have some really talented folks in your family, you know, how talented and skilled that they are, right? They come from your bloodline. Okay. So guess what? They don't have to go to anyone else to give them permission or, uh, give them a yay or nay. If they're going to invest in them, you can actually invest in them. How amazing is that to be able to invest, you know, in your children and your nephews and your cousins, you know, um, and for their future. I think that's, I think it's wonderful. And then also the family liability insurance. Okay. Insurance, you know, this is the insurance pays. So we're really big on that. And then risk management. This is something that I think a lot of people just don't even consider. Many people just see all the good things, you know, but they don't really consider the risk about any action that they take. And because um, the Rockefellers have such a massive wealth, they have to consider the, the risk. They have to. Because, again, this is um, a family bank. So it's more than just one person, you know, who's on the line here. So, again, they're thinking about an empire like a hundred years from now, not just, you know, this year. Okay. And that's how we need to be too. You know, I know that when we were younger, they would always ask you about your five-year plan, but the Rockefellers are not talking about five-year plans. Okay. I'm sorry to say this for peons and for employees, but that's just what it is. You know, these individuals are talking about a hundred year plans. Okay. Um, so this is what we need to be talking about, too. And how will you even be able to discuss a 100-year plan unless you know where the world is headed in 100 years? So this is why it's going to require more effort on your part. Um, you just can't sit back and play, uh, play sports or watch sports or play games or just go on concerts and travel and all this stuff or whatever. As fun as those things are that they have us trapped in, right? You have to do those things too, like how we talked about in a previous video. You can still go on vacation if you are, are doing business as well, right? Now it's a tax write off. We need to be smart and wise like these individuals here. But you have to start thinking about this if you truly care about uh, your family's future. All right, so let's keep going. Uh, the Rockefeller method of estate planning has succeeded for over six generations. And if anyone has listened to any of my um, insurance presentations, we talk about uh, the third generational curse, right? It's in the Bible, and I also have it, too, uh, when it comes to uh, the Asian community as well. And theirs is the fourth generational curse with them, okay? But basically what we're talking about in the Bible or any, either one, it doesn't matter really, is that first generation, they have come from nothing. And they want a better life. So they are the hardest working people you will see. Working up from sun up to sundown, have the best customer service. They are on it with their financials. You know, they are the success stories. They are who you want everyone to model after. 
all right? They've had their children. Their children may even be participating with them in their family stores, on their family farm, right? They see the struggles that their parents have gone through in order to amass the fortune that they have. And guess what? They are the recipients of it now. So, you know, uh, sometimes, like I just said, sometimes they will go into the family business. Sometimes they don't. They may feel like it's beneath them or they're just not interested in it. And so with the wealth that they have, they're dwindling that wealth. So by the third generation, um, it's shirtless to shirtless, right? They're having to start from ground zero again. So guess what? Um, the Rockefeller said no to that plan. <laughs> and so they actually created their family trust, you know, their dynasty trust. So that way they don't have that problem. They make sure everyone is on board with their constitution. And this is what it says here. They have a carefully, they're able to do this by carefully having a wonderful family constitution. The key word here with irrevocable trust. So you just can't have, you know, some cousin come up and say, hey, I want to change this, this, and this, and that. No, no, no. It doesn't work like that. Okay. In addition, the family ensured that the trust remain well-funded using the proceeds of life insurance policies for each passing family member. And we're going to talk about how you can do that in a separate video. All right. But I love this. Again, they're using life insurance policies. Again, for each passing family member. You know, this is something that sometimes I feel we don't want to talk about in our community, which is death. And we always say, what is, what's always guaranteed? Death and taxes, right? And we want to say taxes guaranteed, but some people would rather be homeless than pay taxes. You know what I mean? So the only thing that's really guaranteed is death. And so since we know that that's guaranteed, it's like, why not use that as a wealth building opportunity for your family? You know, it's not morbid to talk about these things. To me, it's a beautiful thing to be able to talk about uh, a wonderful generation to show your appreciation, to show your love. I always say that insurance is love because it's something most times that you're not able to tap into, but you're leaving it for those that you love. You don't want them starting off from zero every generation. We have to get out of that negative cycle because, you know, once you do something repetitively over so many times, it just becomes a part of your character. It becomes of who you are. And sadly, that has become a part of who our families are, of what our, who our last names are. And we're just passing these bad traditions down. And we have to, it just takes one person, just like the Rockefeller, it just takes one person to say no to that plan. And I don't know about you, but I'm not with that plan. And so my thing is, I want uh, you or those who are interested and in not being a part of that plan to start your journey with the life insurance. I know I was reading Poweronomics and Dr. Claude Anderson, who's the author of Poweronomics, a wonderful author uh, who's very passionate about the Black community, one of our living legends, absolutely respect him, love him. And in the forward, I believe, of the book, it stated that one way the Black community has been kept out of wealth is due to not having access to life insurance policies, because that's another video that I've already covered about our history, our complicated history with life insurance policies, okay, or with just life insurance in general. And so now there's no excuse. You have access to life insurance, okay? So now it's your responsibility to go ahead and put that in place so that way you're not locked out from creating generational wealth. So of course, AI Mutual is here to help you to be able to do that. Now we're gonna skip the Vanderbilts here because we're just covering the Rockefellers at this time, okay? Because their story is not so positive. So I wanna show you the downfalls as well. We wanna cover the good, bad, and ugly, right? And this gonna talk about, see, a story of success and a tale of caution. But going back to the success of the Rockefellers, the Rockefeller succeeded by having a strong central family constitution, plus several, you can have more than one, several irrevocable trusts that could not be touched nor reversed. That is so important. And they understood that generations ago. See, again, they're very forward thinking people. They know that the world does not say the same. Now, sometimes people say, yes, it's a circle, so eventually it's going to come back. We've seen it with the fashion, right? <laughs> so maybe one era had bell bottoms, and then we go through all these other different fashions, and then we come right back to bell bottoms. So I'm not saying that, you know, it's not cyclical, right? But at, but they know that things do change, you know, our attitudes for a lot 
of maybe social items or anything, everything changes. However, they know what works and they're very conservative. They're very, um, they're very classic. So they're like, hey, look, we're going to continue to do this. And I have to admit what they're doing is working. Okay. So I know everyone's trying to try 50 million different ways to do what they want to do. But, you know, why, you know, try to fix something that's not broke? And clearly what they are doing has worked for over six generations and they're all still billionaires. They're not shirtless to shirtless. So this is definitely a great case study to review and definitely read this on your own time because you may be seeing things that I didn't see. And if you do, please uh, put those in the comments. OK, I would love to see that. And I'm sure other people would love to see that as well. In addition, they essentially created a business devoted to the management of their family's financial affairs and ventures. Again, this is amazing. Starting to think of your family as a business, all right? And, and when I think of the family constitution, to me, that's kind of like a business plan. And so, of course, again, they hired an outside firm to be able to manage their uh, family's financial affairs and ventures. These elements have helped to ensure that generational wealth is preserved in the long run. All right, so we're not going to talk about the Vanderbilts on this one. All right, but control your own outcomes through estate planning. Yes, the EP, estate planning, which many people do not do. And it's very sad that people pass away, including celebrities, including people with high net worth. Uh, we just, um, who was that we just read about? Was that Aretha Franklin? I think we just read about uh, where they finally finalized the case because the son found a will that was in the cushions of a couch <laughs> to have a will there something that's so important and the cushions of a couch you know that's very interesting and very questionable but hey whatever it was in a couch okay they did find something and so that's not where you want want it to be for the people that you love you don't want to have to send them through probate and they're already sad and mourning the loss of your life and they're stressed behind that. And you don't want them to have to be stressed financially. You know, it's very taxing having to go through litigation, um, especially when you have a lot of uh, assets on the line, you know, and you don't want to have families being broken up because of that. Again, I, what I respect about the Rockefellers is that everyone knows what is their role, you know, what's the role of the family, what's to come, you know what's expected of them. So even if um, they had certain items that they had to abide by, I'm just saying this because I don't know what's what their rules are, but let's just say they stated, hey, you have to, uh, you know, get married, right? Um, before you have a child in order to get X amount of dollars. Well, if they didn't do it that way, they can't say that, oh, you're being unfair or you're discriminating against me. It's in writing the entire family understands this. So they have to abide by those principles to keep it fair, right? So I just think it's very um, amazing how they have everything set up. And then let's continue here. And you have to have the state plan. And of course, Legal Shield, we can help you with that. Just for $29.95, very easy to do. You don't have to be a multimillionaire, right? Or pay millions of dollars in order to get your estate documents to order. We will take care of that for you with your will, your living will, your power of attorney, for healthcare and your power of attorney for finance. We can get that started for you this week, okay? So visit us at niv.wearelegalshield.com. Sign up. Let's get it taken care of for you, okay? Then also, we can get you started and get you the information and everything that you need for your trust, okay? Let's get that created. Of course, you're going to need your LLC created. We can get that created for you, all right? And then, of course, AI Mutual, we can always assist you with your life insurance policies, so I'm very excited again right here. Just goes back into the documentation for the uh, for your estate plans, things that you will need. All right. You know, and we have another another video. Please go through all the videos that we have. They're really great. We have one about the will. And, you know, this is something that's very important to you. This is your last, you know, testament, you know, if you will, um, how you want to be remembered. So we have a really great video on things that you need to seriously think about your life and get in place now, okay? So things are in order, not just for your funeral, but for all of your assets that you're leaving to the next generation. And when I tell you right now, again, is the greatest transfer of wealth 
please make sure you have everything documented or else your children will not receive your assets. It will go back to the state, okay? And this is not the time for your children not to have ownership in property or in other assets that you have. Because again, the GR is happening right now. And the goal that is being restated over and over again is that you will own nothing and be happy. So they are taking ownership off the table for your heirs. They've already made that decision for you. So you have to make the decision that no, I say no to that. And I want my heirs to be owners. I want them to have generational wealth. And that all starts with what you decide to do today. Now, this right here is pretty awesome. It says, um, because their wealth was immense, these families likely took advantage of sophisticated estate planning and tax strategies to preserve their wealth as much as possible. So they're letting you know, kind of like, there's there's one estate planning for the regular people, and then there's a sophisticated one, you know, for the echelon, right? Same with the tax strategies. So, um, but this is because transferring wealth in the U.S. is highly taxed, and it is. It is very highly taxed. So there are several strategies to protect your family from certain taxes. Again, on your own time, definitely click these links to research this. Um, to protect your family from certain taxes, such as estate tax, gift tax. This is perfect because it's the holiday time right now. Inheritance tax and the generation skipping transfer tax. Oh, this is nice. Okay, definitely read that one. The use of a dynasty trust. I love that word, dynasty. Okay, that used to be a, um, a soap opera, I think, back in the day. <laughs> I'm telling my age there, but that used to be a soap opera, okay? Um, but yes, the use of a dynasty trust is just one of the many strategies available through estate planning. All right. So this is really great here. I hope that you've learned some things. Definitely come back, review the links, uh, contact us. Definitely give us, um, you know, reach out a shout to quote at AIMutual.com. We're happy to assist. Visit us online at www.AIMutual.com for the insurance policies. And of course, we can help you with your estate planning at NIV.WeAreLegalShield.com. Until then, we'll see you on the next video. Keep aiming high.